Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a few iPhone settings you may want to consider turning on. Now of course these will be off by default and a lot of these I do turn on when I first set up my iPhones. It just gives you a better user experience. So let's begin. The first thing I want to talk about is messages. Now by default we know that on the iPhone iMessage is the primary messaging service but sometimes Apple servers and iMessage drops and it fails to deliver any messages when that service Service is down. So under messages inside of the extension in messages, if you tap into the extension here, you see that you have send as SMS and this option here will allow you to send a message using your carrier's service, right? So the standard SMS service and this is off by default. So if Apple's iMessage services are down or they don't deliver properly for you, send as SMS is a backup messaging service that you can use from your iPhone to send that message, whether you're texting someone with an iPhone or not. Just an option that I don't know why Apple has it off by default, but I always turn it on. Next, I want to talk about the text size. Under the display and brightness, I usually turn on this right here, bold text. And of course, this just makes text bolder and more legible, so I prefer to have it on. And you can see there is a lot better, it's a lot easier on the eye to see the text Right there it is, bold text, another option that's always off by default, but I like to turn it on every time I set up my iPhones. Another option that I love to enable in Safari, it's going to be reading list offline. So let's say you're reading an article, right? And you're not gonna have a network connection later, but you still wanna read the full article. Right here in the action button, you can save that article, add it to read list, but you need a network connection in order to read that article later. So if you're going on a flight or on a long trip and you don't wanna load your data, use your data, you can go into the settings extension for Safari. And in Safari extension, you can have the iPhone automatically all the way at the bottom here, automatically save offline for reading lists. So every time you save an article or something that you may be reading on your iPhone, it would save it automatically offline. And whether you have an internet connection or not, you can read the entire article in its entirety and it will save automatically. And again, that option is always off by default. That's gonna be under the Safari extension in settings as well. Next, I wanna talk about Siri shortcuts. Now, Apple has a dedicated application, of course, for all the Siri shortcuts you can download and set up automations directly on your iPhone. But there's really good third-party Siri shortcuts like this water eject Siri shortcut that I have here. You can see if the iPhone gets a little bit of water in the speaker, I can use sound to eject that water. And that's a third-party Siri shortcut, which means I can download it from the internet. But you have to enable a certain option here in the Series extension or the Siri shortcut in order to get this to be installed and that is allowed untrusted shortcuts now make sure you know which shortcuts you're downloading from the internet but that one is one of those third party that wouldn't install unless i have this enabled so allow untrusted shortcuts is an option that's off by default to install third-party shortcuts but i always turn it on as well now last but not least i want to talk about incoming spam phone calls apple has added a setting to the iphone in hopes to combat some of these fake scam incoming calls now this setting is called silence unknown callers and it's in the phone extension here so if you go to settings click on the phone extension and you scroll down you see silence unknown caller if you turn this on this will send any phone call to voicemail from anyone that isn't in your contacts list. So everyone else that you know, the calls will continue to come in as normal. But if someone calls you from a phone number that isn't in your contacts list, it will go directly to voicemail. And again, this is Apple's effort to combat these bot calls and these scams that continue and continue to become more popular nowadays. I turn it on if someone that's calling me that isn't in my contacts list does need me, they can still leave a voicemail but this will help you stay on track, not distract yourself from a fake call or even get scammed. And those are some of the settings that I usually turned on that are off by default that will help you give your iPhone and yourself a better user experience using iOS. Let me know if you learned anything. If you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.